One of the big things that IT can help the business on is better access to data. With better access to multiple sets of data, they can bring together and correlate information from the wind tunnel, the simulator, the dyno, true track testing, software simulations. You'll have heard many, many companies talking about digital twins these days. You know, ourselves as a team, we've got a digital twin. Is it perfect? No. But every single time the car goes out, we turn around and we learn more about the simulation versus the physical. We turn around and then improve, whether that's our CFD modeling, whether it's our wind tunnel, whether it's our driver in the loop simulator, our software tools are always being revised and iterated on and innovated on on daily basis. The, the technology partnership that we have with Mercedes AMG Petronas Motorsport is, you know, they are a manufacturer, but the advantage for me is their complete supply chain is on, on campus. So we can work with them to look at new technology innovations, understand the business value, install those and, and prove the value quickly, and then take that to a, a more general manufacturer. The thing is technology is changing so quickly, it's actually difficult to pick what's the what's the next best thing for us to do. So we're having to be very careful about making sure we pick the right project to work on, what's the outcome of that project, what's the value, before we start wading into doing 10, 15 different projects that are trying to look at that digitization of our data, maybe you know, some simple things. If you look at IoT and Industry 4.0, you know, what I've seen is, is many, many proof of concepts that just you know, show some value but don't, don't go anywhere, never necessarily get productionized, haven't really thought about the value they're going to deliver at the end, haven't really defined the business value. It's almost some of it's technology for technology's sake. You, you have to fail fast. You have to fail. At some point, you're not going to get it right. But knowing why you didn't get it right and then actually taking a decision to change, do it differently, whether it's a complete U-turn, come back and start again, maybe that's what you've got to do. Have you gone down a, a corridor that's actually a dead end? Right, you've got to go all the way back to your last major decision point. We've done that before with the car itself. We've done that with technology many times. But admitting that sometimes is a bigger strength than actually just plowing on and wasting your time and effort moving forward. You know, people talk about shadow IT. We've got a huge abundance of people that are very clever. You know, they're always creating new um, little startup, proof of value, proof of concept pieces of technology. We can't stop that, otherwise as a team, we'll fall behind. But what we've got to be able to do is be trusted by those people to then help them productionize that system. And what HPE are doing is helping us either productionize a proof of concept system or take it to another level. Mm -hmm.